Hello, welcome to Colleen C to Serendipity. Welcome in to my new viewers and welcome back to my Serendipity subbies. Today is May 26th, 2023, and I would like to bring you this day in history. Confederate General Edmund Kirby Smith, commander and of the Confederate Trans-Mississippi Division, surrenders on May 26, 1865, one of the last Confederate generals to capitulate. Smith, who had become commander of the area in January 1863, was charged with keeping the Mississippi River open to the Southerners, yet he was more interested in recapturing Arkansas and Missouri largely because of the influence Arkansas of Arkansas's in the Confederate Congress who helped to secure his appointment. Drawing sharp criticism for his failure to provide relief for Vicksburg, Mississippi in the summer of 1863, Smith later conducted the resistance to the reunion Union's failed Red River Companion of 1864. When the Confederate forces under Robert E. Lee and Joseph Johnston surrendered in the spring of 1865, Smith continued to resist with his small army in Texas. He insisted that Lee and Johnston were prisoners of war and decried Confederate deserters. On May 26th, General Simon Bunker, acting for Smith, met Union officers in New Orleans to arrange the surrender of Smith's force under terms similar to Lee's surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. Smith reluctantly agreed and officially laid down his arms at Galveston on June 2nd. Smith himself fled to Mexico and then to Cuba before returning to Virginia in November 1865 to sign an am amnesty oath. He was the last surviving full Confederate general until his death in 1893. 23 days after Smith surrendered, Brigadier General Stan Waite, a Cherokee, became the last Confederate field general to surrender. Now I would like to bring you another This Day in History. The first copy of the classic vampire novel, Dracula, by Irish writer Bram Stoker, appeared in London bookshops on May 26, 1897. A childhood invalid, Stoker grew up to become a football soccer star in Trinity College, Dublin. After graduation, he got a job in civil service at Dublin Castle, where he worked for the next 10 years while writing drama reviews for the Dublin Mail on the side. In this way, Stoker met a well-respected actor, Sir Henry Irving, who hired him as his manager. Stoker stayed in the post for most of the next three decades, writing Irving's voluptuous correspondence for him and accompanying him on tours in the United States. Over the years, Stoker began writing a number of horror stories for magazines, and in 1890, he published his first novel, The Snake's Pass. Stoker would go on to publish 17 novels in all, but it was his 1897 novel Dracula that eventually earned him literary fame and became known as a masterpiece of Victorian era Gothic literature. Written in the form of diaries and journals of its main character, Dracula is the story of a vampire who makes his way from Transylvania, a region of Eastern Europe in now in Romania to Yorkshire, England to prey on innocent 
there to get the blood he needs to live. Stoker had originally named the vampire Count Wampler. He, he found the name Dracula in a book on Wallaceca and Moldavia written by a retired diplomat, William Wilkinson, which he borrowed from a Yorkshire public library during his family's vacation there. Vampires who left their brutal places at night to drink the blood of humans were popular figures in folk tales from ancient times, but Stoker's novel captured them into a mainstream of 20th century literature. Upon its release, Dracula enjoyed moderate success, though when Stoker died in 1912, none of his obituaries even mentioned Dracula by name. Sales began to take off in the 1920s when the novel was adapted for Broadway. Dracula Mania kicked into even higher gear when Universal blockbuster 1931 film directed by Todd Browning and starring the Hungarian actor Bela Lugosi. Dozens of vampire-themed movies and television shows and literature followed, though Lugosi, with his exotic accent, remains a quintessential Count Dracula late 20th century examples of vampire craze including best-selling novels of american writer anne rice and the cult hit tv series buffy the vampire slayer the 21st century saw the wildly popular twilight film and book series i want to thank you for watching today and as always stay safe and stay blessed and remember to smile because I love you, but more importantly, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, loves you the most. And that's the best love you can have. And if you like the content of this video, would you please give it a, and go over and check out some of my other videos. I have junk journals videos. I have vlogging with family. I have hauls. I have ride-alongs with me. And sometimes I re do reviews and um comment down below even if it's just to say hi hello good morning good evening good afternoon that really helps my channel but what really helps my channel is if you subscribe yes come on over and be a serendipity subby it doesn't cost anything all right everybody have a blessed day and i'll see you in my next video bye everybody